don't you hate it when this happens? Having so many different camera systems and battery types can be a real hassle, but there is a better way. Here's why and how I label my batteries. I have a lot of batteries. I have Sony's, Canon's, more Sony's, Gion Crane, DJI Mavic, more Sony's, double A's, triple A's. It is a lot to keep up with and keep track of. So I've come up with a couple of solutions. So the first thing I do with my batteries is I add a little colored dot to each battery type, whether it's a Sony NPFW50 or a Canon LPE6, I'll group them together and I'll add, in my case, a blue dot to all of the Sony NPFW50s, a white dot to all of the Canon LPE6s and so on. And this just allows for easier identification of which battery type it is. When you're looking through your camera bag, especially if it's a dark room, all batteries look the same. So adding a little colored dot to them just helps them to stand out in the bag and helps you to separate at ease which one is which. This also helps when collaborating or working with others, just to say, hey, can you pass me the blue battery? Rather than having to say a model name or trying to find the little text in the back of the battery and figure out what types what, it just makes it so much easier. I've also color coded my battery chargers. And then when I'm charging my batteries, it's just a matter of lining up the dots. So easy, a toddler could do it. The stickers I use could be found at any arts and crafts stores. I got them from a local office supply store. And they're just little colored dots and I've come up with my own colour system. You can choose your own, you can choose whatever colour for whatever battery system you like. I just felt like the colours suited the battery types. It's all about efficiency and making it faster to find your batteries and so you can get back to shooting sooner. So I've got our snazzy colour coded batteries, but our second problem is knowing which ones we've used. So the solution to this problem is numbering each battery individually. So I've got our coloured sticker and we add a number as well. On a running gun shoot where I need to use lots of batteries throughout a day, I'll try and count up consecutively. I'll use battery one first and when that dies, I'll move on to battery two. That way I know that when I go to change it again, if I find battery three in the bag, I know it'll be charged. And for that matter, if I grab battery six, I know it'll be charged too if I'm in a pinch. Ideally, you'd have different bags for dead and alive, but not every shoot is conducive to having that much space or that much pocket space or anything like that. So having another way of tracking which ones are dead and alive just saves you for that moment of putting in a battery and it's already dead. This also helps me keep track of all my batteries at the end of a shoot. I know that if I took 10 batteries at the start of the day, I should have batteries one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Batteries are expensive, so you definitely don't want to be losing them. For numbering batteries, I've used two different systems. Sometimes I write with a paint marker directly on the battery, the number, or I've just got sheets of numbered stickers that again, I found at my office supply store and they just have numbers up to a hundred or so. And you just add them to each battery and it just adds another way of knowing which one's which. So I've already customized our batteries quite a bit, but the last piece of the puzzle is adding your contact details on each battery. And this just helps to identify you. If you ever lose your batteries, somebody can call you or contact you to get it back to you. So I use this great company called Moo and they do business cards and stickers and all sorts of things. And they do these little sticker books where you get little stickers that are the perfect size for sticking on batteries. And I put my contact details on there, my logo, and then I put them on all my batteries and they're really affordable. They're the perfect size. And in their sticker books, you can have different designs. So if you want some that are just your logo, some that are just contact details and some that are both like I do, you can do that without any extra cost. These help to just brand all your things as yours and having your contact details means that it's less likely you'll lose it. And if you're working with others, it also helps because sometimes you're dealing with the same batteries and the same camera systems. Maybe you've rented extra gear. It just helps you to know which batteries are yours and not second guess it. Not every battery is conducive to labeling, especially double A's and triple A batteries. If you put stickers on them, they'll probably get stuck in different things. So I don't actually label these. What I do instead is I have these plastic cases I bought off eBay. They store about 10 batteries and I've got some that store four. And I have a system where if I put the positive end of the battery up, it's charged. And if I put it down, it's dead. 
I then also have my contact details on the back of the battery case and it just helps to also keep them all together and keep track of how many you've taken to a shoot and how many you're taking home with you. While it's not as perfect as having each battery numbered individually, it's still better than not having a system at all. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful and you can use some of these tips in your workflow. If you have any other tips, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> oh, this is silly. <laughs>